Hello, everybody. This is Martin Patilla for Life Enthusiast Online Network, TV and radio. With us is David Sandoval today, the founder of Purium, man of deep many years of experience in the natural food world and helping to heal people by the thousands, follows mission similar to mine. David is here to talk about a product called Biomedic. There are more products to Purium than just Biomedic, but today we want to focus on just that. David Sandoval, the, uh, are you the founder or also the CEO of Purium? I am both, actually. Perfect. I actually have here in my possession two books. One is called The Green Foods Bible that David put out, and it's a beautiful all-around educate yourself, and you will get that if you decide to join us. And, uh, and here, this is even more interesting, a book, short book, all about the toxin that came to dinner. So uh, I, I'd like to launch uh, into it this way. I have been slowly telling the world that the industrial food experiment is not going so well. We had mm, the DDT back when, and we got rid of that, but there's a new superstar rising on the horizon, the glyphosate. And I'm not sure if people are getting the message yet, but let's ask David. You have done a ton of research about that, right? Why should we care that there is a problem in the gut? Oh, well, thank you so much for having me here and uh, really appreciate anybody who's taking the time right this minute mm -hmm. to tune in, to drop in, because what we're about to share is so important that it literally affects 100% of people who are listening today in a profound way. And when I declare it, it almost seems as though I'm chicken little, as though I'm somehow a conspiracy theorist who is just you know, trying to um, you know, create fear. And I tell you, that is not my goal whatsoever. But I do know that we have uncovered something that is so important, that is so dangerous, to every single American who is alive today, that everyone you know is probably suffering right this moment without realizing it from a low level or a high level toxicity from a chemical that is now found in 97% of Americans and it doesn't belong there. Again, I'm gonna say it again, 97% of Americans tested have detectable levels of a cancer causing chemical in their body as we speak they are not being warned about it and they do not have a solution i am here for two simple reasons to give a very clear warning about the danger and to offer a very simple accessible solution because people are suffering needlessly and it's time we did something about it yeah right you are i mean that the research you gathered up in this little booklet is compelling like i'm just going to show it like look at the graphs and watch the line as it heads toward the top that is the trajectory of illness as correlated with the trajectory of the application of roundup or glyphosate in general to the crops in the world let me let me put that as clearly as we could make it there is the use of glyphosate, which started in 1980. And at that time, the rate of autism, autoimmune disease, leaky gut, and, and Alzheimer's and other diseases like fatty acid, liver cancer, they were also very, very low. As the rate and the usage of glyphosate and Roundup, as it's more commonly known, as you see advertised on TV every day, as the use of glyphosate and Roundup began to rise, correspondingly, so did each of these conditions. As the use began to skyrocket, correspondingly, so did each of these conditions. There is a direct corollary between the increased use of this chemical in our environment, the increased presence 
of this chemical in our bodies and the increase of the most common maladies affecting Americans today. And no one is doing anything about it. Well, I wouldn't say that. You are. I am. And we are some. So l let me put it this way. We've all seen the warnings on food or the non-GMO verified. We've all seen those stickers with the butterfly that says non-GMO verified. The reason we wanted to avoid GMO food was twofold. One, because we didn't want food that wasn't really food. And two, because the only way to grow that food was with this toxic chemical. The problem is that toxic chemical is not only used on genetically modified food. Now it's used in your garden, it's used on your lawn, it's used in public housing, around schools, government buildings, parks, highways, and it is now found in 75% of the food sold on grocery shelves. Your Cheerios that you feed your baby could be toxic. The cream of wheat that you eat for breakfast could be toxic. The bread and the foods that you're consuming could be, not could be, they are carrying toxic chemicals. And it is, it's scary. And yeah. something has to be about it. Right. And, and it's, it's something like this. Back when we had the DDT problem, DDT is only fat soluble. It does not get into the water table. But glyphosate is actually water soluble. So when the water runs off from the field into the creek and evaporates back into the rain and gets picked up by whatever, it is everywhere. It is getting into your water, your air, it's in the rain, it's in the creek, it's in the ditch. And you mentioned the cream of wheat. Wheat is not genetically modified per se, but farmers have been using glyphosate on grain crops to dry them out, to force them to, to ripen quickly at a uniform time so that they would get higher yields at the crop time. And so there are so, great amounts of glyphosate in all uh, grain foods. So to put that in a way that everyone could understand, all of the grains and many of the foods that we're eating are sprayed with a chemical that's intended to start killing them so that when they harvest it, the machine doesn't work so hard. When they harvest it, the yield is higher. But you have to remember, they made a decision to spray a cancer-causing chemical on your food in exchange for a few extra pennies profit. Do not forget that. Because in a lawsuit that was just judgment, a judgment in a lawsuit was just handed down, one single person was granted over $260 million because they now have cancer caused by Roundup. And the reason there were such punitive damages is because it was said that the company could have, should have known and warned people about the danger. Despite that court ruling, this chemical is still being used all around us and we have to do something about it. And that's why I am so happy to be invited on today to speak to this educated group of people so that they could start to become part of the voice that could go out and sound the alarm like Paul Revere warned people that the British and the Redcoats were coming. We need to go out and warn people that their lives are at danger and that we need to arm ourselves in defense or we will end up suffering. Yes, true words. I would like to explain why this is such a big deal. This manufacturer tells the world that humans or higher level animals, mammals, are not affected by the glyphosate, which is sort of true. But the problem is this, glyphosate affects the bacteria, the microbes that are living within us. So if you think how your gut works, your gut is the food you eat, 
is feeding the bacteria that are in your gut and then that is digested and the bacteria are feeding you. And this in-between step in your digestion is being threatened because the, uh, their enzymatic transactions are broken up by this glyphosate and it's causing the die-off of the microbiome that lives in our gut. How would you comment on that? So I want everybody to imagine that everything they eat and all of the waste in their body ends up in this thing that we call the gut, what you could refer to as your colon, your lower, uh, you know, your lower part of your digestive tract. And it is there that something really, really important happens. And it is there that something really, really bad is happening right now. What is important that happens is your gut detects everything wrong going on in your body and it creates a immune response to that. Your gut also separates the things that should go into your blood and the things that need to leave your body, quite honestly, as poop and pee. And when your gut microbiome isn't working, then your toxins are not leaving your body, they might re-enter your body your nutrients are not being absorbed, they're probably being expelled. And this is something that we call leaky gut. And this leaky gut or gut permeability is actually contributing to most autoimmune diseases, all types of inflammatory diseases, um, and quite possibly autism, Alzheimer's, and everything in between. And so to compromise your gut, is literally to start killing your body. Now I'm gonna tell one more story. We have this chemical and it was designed to kill all organisms that are not genetically modified. Unfortunately, you cannot wash this chemical off of your food. And so when you eat it and all the waste goes into that gut, like I told you, what also goes there is this chemical residue. And it will then kill the microorganisms that live in your gut. This chemical is designed to kill all organisms that are not genetically modified. And so when it gets into your food and into your gut, your gut begins to die. And this is the big story. You can't get rid of the chemical. It's all around us. When it gets into our gut, it kills our gut. And our dying gut right now is the reason why so many Americans are suffering. So I guess you started on saying, well, number one, we need to try and prevent the ingress. We need to take it to the legislative level and we need to figure out some way how to block the manufacture and application of this crazy product. But more importantly, we as consumers, each one of us individually, we have the power at the wallet level where we get to choose foods that will have less of it or we will be insisting to our manufacturers food food producers that we only want to buy things that don't have it but then the third step because they are so powerful and so focused on the bottom line they will ignore the health of the consumer and uh, kill the consumer despite their own interest like it's it's almost insane because they're going to kill the people that they need to be buying their product. Let's at least have something to defend, right? We need to actually Absolutely. individually protect ourselves, our children, our loved ones. And thank God, there you are. So, so here's how I'd like to explain it. Um, in nature, nature will try to first block damage. If it can't block it, it will suppress it. It will make it less if it can right? And then if it's not able to block it, if it's not able to suppress it, it will have to repair or the damage that's done, okay? So imagine that you're in a fight, and if someone tries to hit you, you could put up your arms and block them, and then you don't get hit. Or you could move out of the way so that when they hit you, it just slides off of your face instead of making full contact, right? So that's blocking or suppressing. Now, in our battle against glyphosate, to block it would be to stop them from using it, right? That would stop any more from getting into our environment. To suppress it would be to try to avoid anywhere it is. Try not to eat the food. Try not to go in the parks. Try not to go anywhere that it's used 
you know, in the lawn care, and that's going to be difficult as well. So we're finding that blocking and suppressing our exposure to glyphosate has become almost impossible. So that leads us to the next thing. We took a hit. How are we going to repair? And so what I decided to do was to suppress it and to repair it. By suppressing it, I'm putting a defense inside of your gut. And when the chemical comes into your gut, we capture it and we take it out of your body before it's able to do any harm. But we're also able to lift up and eliminate any glyphosate that may be residing in your body as well. And by eliminating the chemical, the good bacteria could begin to grow back again. And when the good bacteria grow back again, the villi that live underneath the good bacteria will grow back again as well. And once that happens, then integrity to your gut has been restored. Now let me drop one last thing on you. Serotonin is responsible for our good mood. Serotonin is sort of a feeling that we get that's either positive or negative. And when we are producing serotonin in our gut, we feel happy and optimistic about the future. When we get depressed, our body stops producing serotonin and we get what's called a gut feeling that something is wrong. All of a sudden, the happy signals stop flowing and we know that something is wrong energetically. We know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, totally. Well, I also, yeah, I also know people who are low in serotonin and their first reaction to any new information is, oh, bad, dangerous. They're, down. They're scared, right? Yeah. So what happens when we repair the gut, we begin to rapidly increase the production of serotonin. We deal with stress better. We don't get afraid. We're optimistic. We're happy. And that gut feeling that something's wrong goes away. And so right now, many people have this feeling in their gut that something's always wrong, that just around the corner is another danger, and they're actually right. And the reason they feel that way is because their gut is not able to produce the proper hormones, the proper immune response, or the proper neurotransmissions that keep our body functioning. So I'm telling you, when you repair the gut, you repair the body, and we are sitting on the only clinically proven product that is able to eliminate glyphosate and repair the gut. And this is so important in the world today. That was a good highlight word that you used, clinically proven. I, I appreciate the fact that you actually ran this product through the clinical trial and you actually have numbers that I, I read the study. It says 74% reduction in glyphosate and 75% reduction in CRP, C-reactive protein. Oh, that's big deal. C-reactive protein is a biomarker for nearly every terrible disease that we know about. The higher your C-reactive protein, the more likely you die of a heart attack, the more likely you have cardiac arrest, the more likely that you have a microcardial infarction, the more likely that you are going to have Crohn's disease or lupus or multiple sclerosis or some other inflammatory um, you know, uh, autoimmune disease. And so when you have C-reactive protein, you have trouble. So people were telling me, okay, we know that the, you know, that the glyphosate was reduced by 74%, but how do we know you just didn't move it out of the blood and into the tissue? You know what I mean? How do we know it's gone from the body? And the answer is because the C-reactive protein is gone as well. The exact amount, the reduction of glyphosate was directly related to inflammation and because the glyphosate's gone so is the inflammation and this is the validation that doctors are looking for the correlation that doctors need to truly trust this product and that's why so many medical doctors so many naturopaths so many gastroenterologists and heart surgeons are really really recommending this product above anything else for anti-inflammatory activity. So when we look at the ingredients, I mean, it le looks kind of ordinary. I mean, we're, we have some probiotics, we have some uh, uh, prebiotics, we have some humic and some fulvic, and we have some uh, lactospores. I mean, it doesn't look that sophisticated. What makes it different from the next guy? 
The other people are trying to use things like charcoal, you know, or just a probiotic. Um, and nobody's done what we've done. They haven't figured out that in order to really heal the gut, you need to lift the toxin out and then eliminate it. And after it's eliminated, you need to begin to repair the gut. So what we know is that glyphosate takes minerals out of the body. The glyphosate chelates a lot of vital minerals out of your body. And that those minerals are necessary for the natural fluctuation of your gut, for the growth of bacteria, for the chemical reactions of enzymes to work. Every enzyme needs a mineral to be activated. So by, first of all, modulating the glyphosate and lifting it out and then grabbing it, we didn't just use any probiotic. We used lactospore, a patented lactobacillus bacteria in a spore form. Other people just put bacteria. Bacteria is going to die in your stomach. It's not going to survive in your gut, but when you put a spore, the spore goes into your gut and then explodes, and as it explodes, it attaches to the chemical toxicity and then leaves your body as poop. And so we've literally worked with an ingredient that was created by a Nobel Prize winning laureate. So when we talk about simplicity, I want you to follow me here. There was a time when over a million people a year were dying of scurvy. And the population at the time, would have that would have been like 10 million people today, a year, right? Yes. And another 3 million people were suffering so dramatically they were on the edge of death. So it'd be like 10 million people dying and 30 million people very ill from scurvy um, in today's world. Now, one doctor discovered a phytochemical that was responsible, what he called the antiscorbic factor, responsible for your body's ability to digest and process protein, fats, and carbohydrates. And that antiscorbic factor could be found in peppers, potatoes, and citrus. And we now know it as vitamin C. And vitamin C was a simple ingredient, just a simple thing. That one single phytochemical was able to reverse millions of deaths and tens of millions of people suffering. And so, yes, this product is very simple but it is the right thing. A key is very simple, but the wrong key doesn't work. Only the right key works. And so you think of a key as looking very simple, but it's the pattern that's in the key that matters. And I have created the perfect key to unlock this mystery, to unlock this problem. And it is a combination of ingredients that work perfectly together. One, as I said, came from a Nobel Prize winning laureate who discovered vitamin C. And then the other ingredients are also patented. So the combination, and I, got, I have the exclusive right to use them and so with the, with the producer. And so this product is simple for a purpose, and it is highly effective. And how it compares to other products, there are no other products. There is no other product that can claim legally to reduce glyphosate there's no other product that I know that does. So I'm going to reveal something I probably shouldn't tell you. I took the number one product that claims to reduce glyphosate and I used it as my control in my double blind study. In the end, I wanted to show that they only reduced, re removed this much, but I removed this much. In the end, they reduced zero. My number one competitor had zero reduction in glyphosate. So I did not mention that in the clinical study. I just said there was a placebo control group. But that placebo control was actually my number one competitor, and they did nothing. So what I hear you say is that ordinary naked humic acid is not enough. No, just taking some, you know, some, uh, you know, some activated charcoal or just taking a probiotic is not enough. So I have this one scary point here, which is, it says wheat germ extract. I have so many clients that are deathly scared of gluten and wheat. So when I see the word wheat, it's like, <coughs> uh, please explain how it's not gluten. What we need to be careful of is any time you cast a, uh, any, nothing's black and white. So when we talk about gluten-free, if you are eating gluten-free pasta, then there could be 19 parts per million of gluten in the pasta, okay? 
and you could eat a plate or two or three or four or five plates of gluten-free pasta that has 19 parts per million because it's under 20 parts per million that make you gluten-free. And the amount of gluten in four plates of pasta that's 19 parts per million is actually quite a lot, All right? So you're, um, you're doing the my, legal definition of gluten-free as opposed to... Yeah. Now, my product has 10 times what would be considered gluten-free, 190 parts per million, right? Okay. The only difference is you're taking a fraction of a milligram of my product. So the amount of total gluten obtained from my product is less than you would get from one bite of gluten-free pasta. From one spoonful of gluten-free pasta, you would get more gluten than you would in a double-dose serving of my product. And what we have found is that most people that are gluten intolerant, wheat intolerant, actually have a gut issue. And in now hundreds of reports that have come back, people who were gluten-free, gluten intolerant, not anaphylactic celiac, but gluten-free, gluten intolerant, wheat sensitive, are no longer gluten-free, I'm sorry, gluten sensitive, wheat sensitive, since they've repaired their gut. We had one woman who was anaphylactic with celiac disease. Now, she decided she wanted to chance it anyway. And with her doctor's supervision, she used Biomedic and immediately got diarrhea and got scared. She decided that she had eaten something the day before that might have been the cause of that. She tried it again, and her gut repaired like nothing she'd ever seen. She now has leading the highest quality of life with less irritable bowel syndrome, less symptoms of Crohn's, all of this because she had the courage to go against um, an ism. And so if you are anaphylactic and a you know, celiac, I'm not going to tell you to take that chance. But if you are not, you would be a fool not to use this product to repair your gut. So yeah, so... Yes, there is a tiny, tiny amount of gluten. And yes, technically and legally, because that amount is higher than 20 parts per million, I am going to label my product correctly and I will not put gluten-free on that label. But I will tell you that if you are wheat sensitive, gluten sensitive, I strongly encourage you to use this product and watch that wheat and gluten sensitivity melt away. So we have the opportunity now to offer the product at a discount to our clients. There is a special code that's available. It will be tied to this article. It will, it will be tied to this email. So when you're watching this, there will be a link somewhere nearby. It takes you to the Purium website where you can order this product. The coupon is our code, Enthusiast, E-N-T-H-U-S-I-A-S-T. And uh, Purium and David Sandoval have generously afforded us a $50 credit or 25% if you're buying $200. So here's what it looks like. This is the bottle. Oops, the, the light is reflecting on it terribly. There are 60 capsules to the bottle. You probably will need one bottle per month, maybe two if you're trying to push through a early stage situation. Uh, I've read the testimonies. You could probably just recite a few off the top of your head. They, they are all, all very encouraging from all walks of life, every possible inflammatory condition. Uh, function of the circulatory system, function of the digestive system, function of the neurological issues, pains and aches and twitches and you name it, all kinds of symptoms are being reduced through the healing of the gut. How would Getting you? Condition, yeah, people with eczema and people with, with psoriasis, people with you know bloating and gas and constipation, you know, people who have chronic depression, people who have chronic pain. Chronic inflammation, acne is an inflammatory condition. I never thought that this was going to take away acne. People are telling me their chronic acne is going away as well. And so what I love is that our method of paying it forward allows you to place an order as small as $75 
and we will pay the first $50. And the reason I do that is because I truly believe that once you expose yourself to the quality of this product, that you're going to see that it's the lowest price quality of life decision you've ever made to improve your quality of life for a few pennies a day on the level that we're going to improve your quality of life is probably unprecedented. And I want to meet you more than halfway. I think that one jar is around $60. And then with a 25% discount, of course, it's much less. But um, with the 75% minimum order, um, in order to use the $50 gift card, I encourage you to get two bottles and to use it for your family, to use it over a couple of months. And it's going to be an amazing investment in the quality of life. But I want to remind you very quickly that this is not a simple thing. Literally, this is found in the fetuses of babies, in the livers of golfers, in mothers and fathers and children, and they're suffering. People that you know are suffering from depression, from, from irritable bowel syndrome, from leaky gut, from Crohn's disease and Alzheimer's and all of these things. And we have a product that could prevent and even help to mitigate that, not because we're the cure. We're not. We are repairing the gut and the gut is the master of your immune system. And so fix the gut, fix the body. Um, really appreciate the opportunity to be on this forum today. And if you have any other questions, um, I'm here for you. So I was asked, uh, do I have to take it for the rest of my life? The thought that occurred to me was, well, so long as there's glyphosate in your food. Yes. And so if you get dehydrated, you have to drink water. And you can't drink water today to keep you from being dehydrated tomorrow. Um, and so long as we have this chemical in our body, we need to keep getting rid of it. So you need to brush your teeth every day, more than once a day. You need to shower, you know, as often as necessary to keep your body clean on the outside. And so let's not forget that our body gets dirty on the inside too. And I want you to consider this as an investment in shampoo, conditioner, and soap, and body lotion for the inside of your body. Okay, we need to invest on cleaning the inside of our body. We buy toothpaste, we buy soap, we buy shampoo. We don't ask ourselves, am I going to have to wash myself for the rest of my life? Am I going to need to brush my teeth for the rest of my life? Comb my hair for the rest of my life? Yes. So the biomedic, it's best taken twice a day, in the morning and in the evening, either one pill at a time. If you're dealing with an ordinary health maintenance or maybe two pills at a time or their capsules, two capsules at a time when you want to do major clearing. Uh, we advise you start with one and then uh, progress to two. This is Martin Patella for David Sandoval Imperium and for Life Enthusiast, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you on the other side.